Welcome back. Game of Thrones fans, if you are like me, you can't get enough right now. And just before the HBO series returned for this year for its eighth and final season, one of its stars made headlines. Amelia Clark, who plays a powerful dragon queen on the show, announced she had suffered from two brain aneurysms that nearly took her life. The story hit close to home for us since it's the same thing that took the life of one of our former colleagues. Andrew Horansky tells us her story, how her family is helping others, and the signs to watch out for. For now, we're live in Midtown. She was someone to be very proud of. Stunning, aggressive, from Strongsville. I'm Lisa Calagrassi. Lisa Calagrassi first appeared on Channel 3 News in 1992 as an anchor reporter, before moving on to Orlando, where she met her husband, Todd. Then to New York, where she covered the region's biggest stories, 9-11, Flight 587, all while working the early shift, up each day at 1 a.m., only to return by 3 to her sons in Connecticut. Being mom, hockey practices, dinner, all that other stuff, I mean, what was her day like? Very difficult and <laughs> very challenging. And so, uh, you know, that rest was certainly something that she did not get a lot of. Her family says it took a toll, and in early 2015, Lisa began getting headaches, which she powered through like everything else and never got checked. Massive headaches, what she would describe as the worst headache of her life. It was just maybe three, four days later that, you know, her rupture occurred and, and killed her. Calagrassi collapsed after finishing up a live shot. She was just 49. We didn't realize how much she was loved by her viewers and the impact she really had until it was too late. Nearly 40,000 people suffer an aneurysm each year, bleeding on the brain. Though causes aren't clear, we know most victims are women and nearly half the ruptures are fatal. Stephanie Tubbs Jones, Ohio's first African-American Congresswoman, died from an aneurysm. So did Clyde Johnson, the brother to actress Whoopi Goldberg. It's time to shed some light on brain aneurysms. You gotta know the information. Who starred in this announcement for the Lisa Foundation, which Todd founded just months after his wife's death. To eventually get to a point where uh, uh, those who experience or have a, uh, develop a brain aneurysm in their lifetime, there are no ruptures. And I think that's achievable. Dr. Nicholas Bambakaitis of University Hospital says in theory that's possible, but. The difficulty comes in choosing which aneurysms are appropriate for treatment and how best to treat them because, uh, as you can imagine, it's not often easy to treat these. Um, they can be in delicate places in the brain um, and require fairly complex uh, treatment methods. He says prevention also comes from knowing the signs, which often include the worst headache of one's life. Most folks describe it as being very different. Something, they knew something was not right, something was wrong. Signs to seek out a doctor. Signs all too often ignored. Still, getting a doctor to check for an aneurysm can often hinge on the language you use. You want to let them know if you have a personal history of headaches, a family history of aneurysms, and if what you have feels worse than at other times. Smoking can also be a factor. The bottom line, don't wait if you think you're having an aneurysm. We have more information on the Lisa Foundation and aneurysms at WKYC.com. I'm Andrew Horansky, Channel 3 News.